Hello, my name is Vina, and if you're new to this channel, welcome to my vegan food channel, Vina Cooks Best. I'm excited to show you how I cook one of my favorite recipes, vegan jerk on chicken using cauliflower. So in this video, you will see how I make the jerk marinade, mix it, mix it up with cauliflower, and cook to make a delicious snack or a side dish that you can have with rice and peas, a bit of plantain if you feel like it. It's up to you. Keep. Now using a food processor or a blender, blitz the following ingredients together. The thyme, scotch bonnet, scallions, onion, garlic, ginger, pimento, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, dark soy sauce, olive oil, orange juice, lime juice and salt. All the leaves from the cauliflower to expose the stem. Using a knife, cut around the stem of the cauliflower. Using your fingers, break the cauliflowers into large florets. Remove any large stems. Now cut the cauliflower into small florets. Wash the florets and add to a large container. Pour the jerk marinade from the blender into the container, close the lid and shake until the florets are well coated. Refrigerate and let the cauliflower marinate for 15 minutes. I will be using the pot in the Ninja Foodie Max to actually cook the cauliflower. Spray or coat the bottom of the pot with oil Transfer the cauliflower to the pot and saute the cauliflower on medium heat for six minutes or until the florets and marinade combines, whatever happens first. If you don't have an air fryer, you can grill the cauliflower on both sides to make it crunchy on the outside, but just be careful to not do so for too long because you don't want to burn it. But because I have a Ninja Foodie, I have set the function to the air frying mode. Then set the air fryer to medium heat and air fry for 10 minutes, stirring halfway to ensure all sides of the cauliflower are crispy on the outside. If needed, add a tiny extra bit of oil just to make sure that the cauliflower is not too dry. So these are ready to eat now and they are oh so tasty. Mm, so I like eating these by itself just as a snack, but you could actually have it as a side dish, which complements other dishes as well, like rice and peas or brown stews and so forth. To garnish, but to also to give it that extra kick, you can sprinkle thyme or coriander on the cauliflower. Now it's ready to eat. Always serve it hot and enjoy. To get the full recipe. 